this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why your ads die when you add budget to them. This applies to every single ad platform, and there's no real caveats to it. So here it is. Why your ads die when you increase their budget. Okay. For this analogy, imagine that weight classes equal the budget you're spending, right? So per day, or total, it doesn't matter. And the ad quality equals the skill of the fighter. All right. So here it is. We have a stack of USC fighters here, all the way from DJ on the very bottom here. This is Demi Demetrius Johnson, very light guy, very small guy. And then over here, we've got Steve A, all right? A heavyweight, all right? <clears throat> so imagine you take this guy right here, Everyone knows this guy's name, his name is Conor McGregor. Take this guy, he's the $10 a day champion, all right? So his weight class is $10 per day budget, okay? He's won at $10 per day. Now this guy, you decide this ad is just profitable enough, okay? Imagine he's the ad at $10 a day, that's his weight class. He's profitable enough. I'm just gonna up the budget to 20, okay? So imagine he ups the budget to 20. He moves up one weight class, okay? Now, funny enough, that's exactly what happened to Conor McGregor. He moved up one weight class. He moves up one weight class. As you can see, he's moving up here, and I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, but up to $20 a day. And he did win. He actually did win. He beat Jose. He beat, I think it would be, he beat Jose, Jose Aldo. I think this is where after Jose moved up to 155, but I think he beat Jose Aldo here. And he ended up with the belt. He did win the belt, okay? So he can win. So you got, your ad's profitable, okay? Your ad's initially profitable a little bit. But then, a guy who has been, in this case, Khabib, who's been training his whole life, but in our analogy, someone had a winner at 20 a day that was winning as profitably, percentage-wise, as you were at $10 a day. What did he do? He killed that ad, made a refresh, refreshes the ad, makes, he adds on a new element to the ad, he has an offer that's already working, wants to improve it a little bit, makes an improvement, okay? In this analogy. This guy comes in and the $20 a day winner, we all know the result of this, the $20 a day winner, which is Habib in this case, will always beat a $10 a day winner that has moved up a weight class, always, because of the foundation of the $20 a day winner ad. Okay? He's got the foundation of testing at 20 a day. He's got the foundation of seeing ads win, then improving upon the winner. You've just come from $10 a day, where you were the winner, and then you've upped the budget. It's a different thing, okay? So here, this is an example for a client of mine. $10 a day, this is where the ad was. $10 a day, check up and clean for free with no gap, all right? At $10 a day, this ad got us five to $8 leads. But when I up the budget to 30 a day, we got 20 to $25 leads. And it didn't make more money for the client, okay? So we had the same amount of leads, which meant we made the same amount of money on the back end. So the cost of that increased without the return, all right? Here it is, versus an ad at $10 a day, this ad got us five to $8 leads, okay? But this was a refresh and an improvement upon an old ad that I had that was a whitening ad that we were running at 40 a day, okay? So this is an improvement on that. And if you're wondering, this is AI, which means it doesn't get caught for before and after by Facebook's ad platform. When I upped the budget to 70 a day, we got leads for eight to $25 per day, depending on the day. More total cost, but also far more value for the cost far, far, far more value, okay? And here it is. See this 70 a day, it's running right now, 70 a day. Uh, it's in a different Chrome, but still, running 31 leads this month, this time zone, is, this time period is set to just this month, right? Okay, so here. Because of the quality of your ad and the offer, which is your weight class, right? So, and your budget, which is the weight class. You have more power behind the ad, but that's at a cost. Where you are at $10 a day, you're battling ads that are way lower quality because there's less power behind the ads, okay? Less dangerous, also less upside, okay? So imagine this. 
you're at ten dollars a day, you don't really need to improve them that severely because you're only risking ten dollars a day. As long as it's profitable, it doesn't really matter, right? If you can get thirty dollars from ten dollars a day, that's good, and you'll take that. But it's very unlikely you're going to end up with a hundred from ten dollars a day. So it's not really worth spending the extra extra time to improve it for thirty one dollars from ten dollars. You see, the the actual incremental increases they don't make it worth it. The return doesn't make sense. <clears throat> But when you run at 100 a day, you're battling with higher quality creatives because there's more power, more budget, right? More danger. So you could lose $100 a day and not make a fucking dollar. That's far more scary than $10 a day. But there's way more upside. Way. So $100 a day, if you get $1,000 from $100 a day, no, imagine this. If you get $300 from, $1, from $100 a day, which is the exact same ratio, if you get $300, $300 is a significant amount more money than $30, okay? And the same ratio though, but it's a significant amount of money, right? And obviously once you're dealing with like 10, 20, 100K, things become a little bit different, but we're talking about, you know, most people who are watching this video, one, you're probably not even a thousand at all, a thousand dollars a day in ad spend, like you're not even, probably not even there in revenue, right? So like there's way more upside when you're actually dealing with like a hundred a day. So here, let's take it back to the fighters, right? Demetrius Johnson, on the left here, like 140 pounds. That's like 60 kilos, and he's fucking shredded. Okay, so he's like, and he's putting on weight. I think he puts on weight for his fights. I don't think he cuts. So, and then on the other side, we got Stipe, okay? This guy's cutting weight. He's fucking giant. He's massive. Like, the difference in their power is going to be very clear. So 100% perfect landing angled, perfect angle right on the chin with his stepped in, he's got his fucking heels dug in and he hit you perfectly. His power in terms of a perfect punch, probably like 100 damage, right? Will he knock you out? Depends how big you are. If you don't know how to fight properly, if you have no idea, right? If I fought him, I would probably fucking die. But if you fought him and you didn't know how to do it, and even if you were the size of, like, this guy here, he could probably still knock you out, right? But it's 100 damage. So if you're the same weight as him, you're the same size as him, a punch probably isn't going to knock you out. And you know how to fight, sorry. So, Stipe, though, this guy, for him to do 100 damage, it's like a 25% of good shot. Like, he clips you when you're moving backwards off of, like, a shot where he threw, like, 50% power just because of the weight behind his punches, because of the amount of mass, right? And that's the same way that I view these ads. This ad right here, this is Demetrius, okay? On the left. His hit is not going to hit you with, he's not gonna hit you with an 11 row as, okay? He's not gonna hit you with 2,500 a day in revenue because it's running at 10 a day. That doesn't mean it can't hit you with 100 in revenue, especially for a service, but 100 in revenue, let's say it does, to be completely honest with you, in a dental practice doesn't even keep your lights on a day. So then we have this one, which is, now obviously these are for different services, but the quality of ad is the same, the quality of offer is the same, right? So this, or it's, you know, the principles are the same. So this guy, Stipe, this at 25% of its potential, which by the way, I'm upping the budget. We're upping the budget and I'm yet to see the, cre the creative die. I'm yet to see the ad die. I'm yet to see this like magical ad fatigue, right? I'm upping the budget on this every single time I get the chance to. Nothing's going wrong. The, as far as I, I'm not even joking, the average lead is, in, is costing more like a dollar extra every single 30 days we run it. The best days though, the amount that we're spending in terms of the, the lowest cost per lead days, the amount is decreasing per lead every single day. Like before, the, the best day we have was like $9.96. Now the best day that we have is like $6 or something. Like the absolute best day that we have. It's like $6 per lead. We've got 10 lead, 10 plus leads for $70 for this service, you know? So this is getting better every day. But in this scenario, this ad, it hits you at 100% and it can do like 500, 500, damage just smack this is what i'm trying to explain 
when you're actually playing in this category. You can move it up to 20. And you can get good results. But once you're versing someone who's improved off of something that was already working at 20, I'm pretty sure that you're 100% going to lose that. And that's from experience. I run ads for local dentists on Facebook and I run ads for dropshippers, e-commerce people on YouTube and Google and I've done it on Facebook. I've even run fucking TikTok ads. But the reality of it is like, what I'm trying to explain is really simple. But every time I try and tell it to people, they don't seem to understand it. Your ad at $10 a day, performing amazing. If it's at 10, you can probably, you, you can up it to the most it can be before it's unprofitable, but a $10 a day ad can really only survive until $100 a day. And then you improve it. Maybe if it survives, it, maybe if it's doing really good at 100 a day, it will survive until 1,000. But that doesn't mean that because it gets because it survives at a thousand, you can get it to ten thousand a day. That's really the thing that I'm trying to I'm trying to explain here. So yeah, that's the whole concept. This this is why your ads die when you increase their budget. In the description is going to be my Twitter. I do Google ads for e-commerce dropshipping if you sell shit online, right? And yeah, info products and whatever, but e-commerce drop shipping is the main thing that I do. So <clears throat> if you want, you can go down, click my Twitter below, give me a follow, send me a message, whatever you want, if you're willing, if you want to get in contact with me because you'd like my services to help you with Google ads. <clears throat>